Hello friends, welcome to my first video of 2021. It's in collaboration with my friend Robin Johnson here on YouTube and a bunch of my thrifty friends are getting together and putting together a playlist. It will be in my description box as well as Robin Johnson here on YouTube. Her playlist will be down there as well. In addition to those links, you will also find the links to all of the videos that I have included in my top 20 projects. On my channel, I do a look for less collaboration quarterly. This first project uh, I did for that, it's a Pottery Barn dupe and it turned out amazing. I still have this pillow on my bed and I think it is just stunning. While I'm on the look for less, this boot tray was from LL Bean for $119 and I did a knockoff on this one as well. I believe my version came in under $20 or $25. I can't remember exactly, but I do tell you in that video. Remember, all the links to the videos are linked in the description box below. In this video, I recovered a bench to match my Pottery Barn lumbar pillow, and I think it turned out amazing. This next one was the simplest and quickest DIY that I've probably done on my channel and it gave so many bangs for the tiniest little book. If you aren't aware, I do have a second channel. It's Border Bananas DIY. And on that channel, I show you how I take this thrifted frame that I got at the Goodwill for like $14.99 and turn it into a pegboard for my craft room. That was so much fun, I loved it so much. And then in a second video, I show you how I DIY'd all the organization for it, as well as how to hang up those Ikea spice racks on your pegboard. It is a really neat little trick, but I really love the way this pegboard turned out. It is like one of my favorite things, and I didn't even mention it in my favorite thrifted products video. I'll link that down below as well. I can't believe I totally forgot about this. This next video was not a tutorial, but a bathroom makeover reveal. Every single thing in this bathroom though was a DIY, including the vanity that you're looking at right now. My husband and I built that, I designed it, he built it. Well, we built it together, we worked on it together. And we just, I am so smitten. We are both still so smitten with this project. And I believe this was at the very beginning of the year. Here on my channel, I host another collab called Flippin' Friday. It's the third Friday of every month at 11 a.m. And everybody with a YouTube channel is welcome to join. I put out a playlist the night before and you can add your videos to the playlist then. So it's all ready to go when the collab goes live. And this video, I built a farmhouse two-tiered tray and here it is all decorated for fall. I have to say, it's probably one of the cutest trays I have seen, and I love it. And for another Flippin' Friday, I took a brand new broom and gave it some character with distressing to make it fit more into my rustic, traditional cottage farmhouse style. And this project was so much fun. I show you how to take apart, make over, put back together, and style your uh, cute little gumball machine. And it is so much fun. I still treasure this project, although I do need to change out the split peas that I put inside because they are fading a little. Last but not least is this DIY hot cocoa bar sign. It is my most recent one as well. Um, and my new kitten Hazel actually makes an appearance throughout the second half of the video and she's the cutest. I would definitely go check her out. Thank you so much for joining me in 2020. I really enjoy my YouTube channel and making these DIYs for you. I hope you consider sticking with me throughout 2021. Um, I am really looking forward to it. Don't forget to check the description box for Robin Johnson's channel, the playlist to this collaboration, as well as a list of the links to all of the videos that I mentioned in this video. Here's to 2021 and I'll check you later.